I just bought loads of tools. They just sold me a circular saw and a jigsaw and some batteries. I'm gonna go home, work out how to use them and start cutting the wood. My name's Alex and at the beginning of this year I bought a van with the aim of converting it into a little camper so I could travel around the world. So far with the van conversion project I had stripped everything out the back, added a couple of layers of insulation material to keep the temperatures more even and also made a few quite expensive mistakes. Oh no. And my next couple of tasks were to fit a solar panel on the roof of the van and also learn how to use my power tools and make a start cutting all the wood to size. This is the 3D design of the interior and now I had to make it out of wood. Today, with the help of a friend, I'm gonna put this on the top of my van. See, it's not as simple as just putting it on the top and leaving it there, because if I drove off and went around a corner, it would fly off. It needs to actually be fixed. Tools, solar panel, got these brackets that we're gonna attach it to. Got some of this, Sika Flex which is what's going to stick everything down. And then some screws. So these brackets here are what the solar panel sits on. And then this is what the wires go through. Through there and then down into the van. I'm trying to be a good host. I got some Maryland cookies and I made Reese tea. So we're cutting off the sides of these brackets because as you can see it hangs over and it was just kind of annoying. Well today I learned that a roll of masking tape is a very useful tool. I never would have thought it but by using this we can mark the where the brackets are going to go perfectly. The tape is completely straight and it's sticky as well. Another good reason for having tape. And once this is glued, then we screw through these things into the panel. Were you just standing on that workbench, Rhys? It says... Don't stand don't, on the workbench. It says don't stand on the workbench. So I've got this packet here which came with the uh, mounts. Just some sandpaper. Because you want to rough up the paint on the van and also the underside of this so that the adhesive like grips better. Is that, am I right in saying that? Yeah, yeah. Tiny little You're basically making a lot more surface area yeah, for the... Yeah, like a microscopic... Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's sun, as that soon as it comes out, I get... I feel like I can get them burnt. Jeez. It's much nicer doing these things with someone else, isn't it? it is. If you're doing it on your own, it's like... Yeah, it's um, a bit boring and sad and lonely yeah. doing it on your own. Yeah, I agree. If I was doing it on my own, I'd just have to like, listen to music yeah. or do it something like that. Sanding down the mount as well. So this is brake cleaner. And the use of this is to degrease the surface. Correct. But apparently it's necessary to help the to help it stick. And then I rub down the surface. So would it be good, say, say you spilt a load of olive oil on your work surface in your kitchen, would it help degrease that? Uh, it would, it would work, yeah. but it's definitely not the best way to do it, okay. especially in a kitchen. You don't want to be getting that anywhere near food. That's really. not food safe. No. Don't use this to clean your pans. <laughs> <laughs> not meant for that. It's meant for definitely brakes not. and clutches. Next, we prepared the surface of the van for where the wires would enter through this entry gland. This involved once again sanding the surfaces and also drilling a couple of holes in the roof. Ah, there's a hole in my van. There it goes. Ah. Now my van isn't watertight. Now we've got an even bigger hole in my van. Reese came over. He was meant to help, but instead he just started just drilling into my van. Start going back. Yeah. No, however destructive this seems, we're making progress. I can't wait to be able to sit in my van and get on with my work. Power. Being 
powered from the sun, yeah, I'm excited for that. So I go all over this. Yeah. This is like cake decoration, you know, like ice It cake. is a bit, yeah. Just make sure it's, as you put it down, you're as accurate as possible. Yeah. We stuck down the brackets that the solar panel is going to sit on. We're going to leave it to dry for 24, 48 hours apparently. Uh, once they're solid, I'll then screw from the bracket into the solar panel edge so it's all secured. And then I need to wire everything up. I need to put the wires down into the van and do all that stuff. But today was good. The first tool I've got is a circular saw. It's cordless, which means it runs off a battery, which means I can cut wood anywhere in the world. I don't need to be connected to mains power. Oh, damn. That is definitely the scariest thing I have ever owned. Check out that. It's got a circular blade, which looks Flipping dangerous. You can angle the flat plate on the bottom so you can cut certain degree angles. So the circular saw is what I'm going to use for cutting all my straight lines. Well, as straight as I can get them because it does require some human precision. Because I'm gonna have to push this in a very straight line. And I need something else for cutting not so straight lines. Which is why I also bought one of these, a jigsaw. This is a jigsaw. And the really good thing about these tools is that they're good for cutting shapes out of the wood. And for the ply panels that I'm gonna cut, there's gonna be quite a few like rounded cuts that I need to make. So that will come in handy. The third tool that I've got is something which is less dangerous, luckily. And it is a, it's called a random orbital sander. The sander will come in handy because I don't want there to be any sharp edges of the wood that I will get splinters from. So I've got some sandpaper that goes on the bottom of here and then I can just run that along all the surfaces that I want to be nice and smooth. That is a sander. And because the tools that I got didn't come with any batteries or chargers, I have bought a dual charger. I can charge two batteries at once. And I've got one, two, three, four 18 volt lithium ion batteries for all my tools. And finally, I got something to put all my tools in. A tool bag. I'll tell you what, it's hot in England today. And I can go to work. Let's cut some wood. Van building fuel. I'm making focaccia bread, which is the best type of bread in the world, in my opinion. I needed to cut plywood panels for the walls of my van, but with these being an awkward shape, I first made templates out of cardboard that I could then trace onto the wood. That's one way to do it, wow. Which well, should be a perfect cutout of the door. Ow! That's flipping hot. That is just the best looking food in the world. This is focaccia bread with rosemary and chilies and loads of olive oil. It's so good. Mmm. Tools. I'm gonna need this and this. Lastly, two more very important things that just came in the post.
think I might cut the label off, you know. Nice. So what I've done is I've laid out the ply on two surfaces. I've made sure that when I cut, the weight of the ply doesn't go inwards, it breaks outwards. Because apparently you can get really bad kickback if the two bits of wood you're cutting lean in because it's pinching the blade and then things can fly off and it can get dangerous. Because I'm relying on my own eye for this, it's not gonna be perfectly straight, but I did some research and I realized that you can get a straight edge, which I've clamped to the wood, this far away from the line. So I can push this edge of the circular saw up to the line and then just push along it and it should be perfectly straight. We'll give it a go. Alex's first cut with a power tool. Tell you what, a piece of wood this size is a lot easier to deal with than those massive sheets of ply. So I'm glad I got this cut down. Now I'm gonna use the jigsaw. I've got to put the blade in. Oh, it's close. You see, my table platform setup isn't exactly that ideal. I think I need like more benches. Try out one of my new pencils. Very fiddly having to keep going back and forth, drawing things on and cutting little indents out. But I think I'm pretty much there. I'm quite happy with that curve that I did. I had to cut a little slot out of the top there for the door thing that's there. And I think this is identical to the other side, so I'll just be able to trace this one for the other door, which is very handy. I'm quite pleased for my first day using power tools. I need to cut as much of this wood as possible today because it's gonna rain soon and I can't leave all the wood out here to get wet. I've got some of the bed dimensions lined up on there so I'm gonna cut some of them to size. This is actually a really neat method using the clamps to clamp down a straight edge and then cutting along it. The bed is coming together. I've now cut all the outside pieces. And then I'm gonna have a drawer. This is gonna pull out. So I need to work out how to use runners on drawers. Which will be another challenge. Everything underneath the bed will be storage. And I'm gonna have one large sheet of ply across the whole top. This is how I'm gonna do pretty much all of the furniture in my van. I've seen people do like carcassing with battens of like two by two wood and then plying over the top. But I've got so little space that two by twos would take up a lot of room. And I figured if I just do it a thick ply, then I'm making the most of the space. Feel free to tell me I should have done it another way. Always up for hearing your advice. You've given me a lot of good info over the last few months of what I've done wrong, what I should do next time, what I should do better. Oh no, it's raining, it's raining, it's raining, it's raining. Wouldn't it be so cool to 
have like a barn or workshop which is undercover so you don't need to worry about the rain. It's not perfect but it's better than I thought I could do. So glad the rain held off. It started raining earlier, I've moved everything inside and then it stops. But it looks like it's going to storm still. It's been a productive day. Very frustrating cutting out all the shapes from the wood, especially all the wonky lines. It's taking forever. But I've learned a lot. I'm pretty happy. I'm going to resume tomorrow. See you then.